What's up guys? Chad with Open Your Reality here. On a bike ride, I want to talk about Edgar Casey and reincarnation. I've been making a lot of videos recently about reincarnation and I figured I would talk about Edgar Casey, one of the most famed psychics of the 20th century. A lot of you know who he is. He was born in 1877 and he died in 1945. And David Wilcock is supposedly the reincarnation of Edgar Casey. Whether that's true or not, we may never know. <laughs> anyway, it is gorgeous outside. This is what it looks like. I'm on my bike. It's about 70 degrees in South Florida. Just enjoying the day. And this is one of the things that I love to do most in this world. Just, just get out on my bike, be out in nature, feel one with the earth. And you don't have to be rich and live in houses like this to enjoy it because I cycle by hundreds of them every day and I love it. And the cool thing about South Florida is that there's so many beautiful homes and the landscaping is just incredible. Beaches, the blue skies. You know, a lot of people are flocking to Florida because, you know, people want to get out of states like New York and California. As a matter of fact, Florida may become the new California, at least in terms of the housing market, because down here now, the housing prices are really high, and I don't think they're going back. Anyway, anyway. Now, getting back to the video, a lot of people consider Edgar Casey to be the highest level psychic who's lived since, say, the Civil War era. And Edgar Casey himself never really took full credit for his psychic prowess because almost all of his information was channeled from this omnipotent entity who would give him information while he was sleeping. His nickname was the Sleeping Prophet because he would lay down, go into trance, and this entity who he would channel would give information to him about his patients, Edgar Casey's patients. And Edgar Casey never really wanted to be famous. He never wanted to charge people for his psychic readings, but eventually people began sending him money and demanding that he give them readings. In all, in his lifetime, he gave 25,000 readings. 2,500 of them had to do with reincarnation. And Casey himself was told by this entity that he had multiple past lives. And in one of them, he was a monk, and that lifetime heavily influenced his abilities as Edgar Casey. Perhaps that's why he had those psychic abilities. And I do feel that a lot of people in this world that have psychic abilities, especially that are natural, that are innate, that they don't really have to work for, this was developed in prior lifetimes. You know, guys, it's so noisy here. I have an electric bike. I wish that the whole world would go electric. You know, one of the reasons, and you guys know this if you watch my channel, that I lived in Thailand for two years. Absolutely loved it there. You know, some of the landscape here in South Florida is similar. And there are so many awesome things about Thailand. If you've never been there, I suggest you go. And I would have stayed there forever, if not for the pollution because the pollution there is horrible. I lived in a city called Chiang Mai. It wasn't any better in Bangkok and some of the other cities, but if they could just go electric, oh my God, I think I would have to move back. But seriously, you know, it was interesting because I, I traveled to a city called Kunming in China while I was living in Thailand to do a visa run because as a foreigner in Thailand, you can't stay there indefinitely. You have to sometimes leave. Depends what kind of visa you have, but sometimes you have to leave the country and come back in. So I chose Kunming, because I'd never been to China. It's about a two hour trip from Chiang Mai. And when I got to the city, it was like incredible because I didn't hear noise from the motorcycles. There was no pollution. It was like everything was electric. And this was back in 2004 or five. Come on, it's been 15, 16 years or more now. I mean, you would think the whole world would be electric by now. So yeah, so Edgar Casey had these incredible psychic abilities. And he started off really by having clients come to him who had physical ailments. And these people, 
couldn't get solutions from conventional medical doctors. So as a last resort, they sought out Edgar because, well, word of mouth spread that he had been able to help cure people by giving them prescriptions to heal. And a lot of these prescriptions were little known treatments. Treatments that were very unconventional and that most people have probably never even heard of. Gotta be careful of the dogs, you know. Sometimes the dogs chase you. But anyway, that's happened a few times. You know, I used to walk around in a very rural area in Thailand in the countryside and dogs used to follow me. And I'd carry a stick and I would, you know. But I think if you, if you exhibit fear, you know, the dogs attack. <laughs> And if you don't, they don't. You know, and that's, that's one of the tests of life is not to exhibit fear when you're in those moments and just trust. And the other thing that I wanted to mention is that these people who had these physical ailments, you know, Casey's suggestions helped heal many of those people. But what Casey found out by doing his readings is that many of the ailments of these people and most of these people had suffered their entire life with them gastrointestinal problems arthritis blindness you know you could think every possible kind of symptom 25,000 cases anyway so Casey said that a lot of people who have these physical persistent and chronic symptoms physical symptoms that is in their current life are working off karma from actions in their past life. So for example, one man that he treated was blind and in a past life, he had blinded people because that was his job to, to put irons in people's eyes and <laughs> blind them. I mean, I can't believe people were so cruel back in the day, all these different methods of torture and eye for an eye and everything like that. This is something that you see in the literature over and over in terms of reincarnation and, and you know David Wilcock even says in his book that you shouldn't make fun of people you shouldn't put people down about their condition because you might experience something like that in your next lifetime or even this lifetime so I try to be very careful about that and of course I would not make fun of anybody because once you understand MBT and spirituality you know that we just go round and round on this big merry-go-round. And that's another reason why something like racism is so stupid because you just keep coming back as different people. Most of the people that Casey saw were Caucasian white people from North America, but some of them had lived lives where they were black. And there was one gentleman that had come to Casey and Casey said, of course it was the entity he was channeling, gave the exact name of the person he was in his last life. He was born in Virginia, he was a black man, and he was one of the first black men to enlist in the Confederate Army. And so this man went into the record books and he actually found that particular person with that name. Now it was a very particular original name, so the chances of it being a uh, coincidence are very, very rare. You know, a lot of people say, there's no proof for reincarnation. Yeah, well, when you give actual specific names, dates, and places, and it could be verified, I'm sorry, but that is evidence. Now, if you don't believe in reincarnation, I, I'm, look, I don't, I don't care what you believe. Everybody has to come to their own truth and decision. But I'm just letting you know that if it's something you're doubting because you don't think there's scientific evidence, there absolutely is, and all you have to do is search for it and you'll find it. And another thing that was very striking about the Casey readings is that he said most of the cases that he saw were, of course, people in North America and white people. And these people, he said, in mass, had lived before in the great civilization of Atlantis about 25,000 years ago. You know, people don't understand, but Atlantis had a lot of the same technology that we have now. Now, they didn't have combustion engines and exactly the same technology, but they had a lot of advanced technology. They had modes of transportation, they had telepathy, they had 
professors and scientists and it was an extremely advanced civilization and that's really how it is in reincarnation we come back not only to work out our individual karma but to work out our karma as group souls as a group and we run the same storylines we get into the same situations and it's just a test to see if we can pass it this time are we going to make better decisions or not and we just keep coming back and keep coming back until we get it right for my part i'm trying to get it right this lifetime i know i haven't made the best decisions throughout my life but i haven't made the worst there's certainly been people that have made worse decisions and hold on guys it's the one thing about shooting outside is that you're subject to the conditions so usually there's a lot of noise you can see there's a lot of cars passing and motorcycles and people cutting their lawns and everything like that but we're in a little bit of a quiet stretch here you can see how peaceful this road is yeah i basically wanted to make this video just to talk about some of these aspects of reincarnation and edgar casey because i find edgar casey to be fascinating i don't know if david wilcock is the reincarnation of him but there are some pieces of evidence that do point out that there are some freaky coincidences and if some of you know david wilcock and his story you know what i'm talking about but anyway guys this is just a short video i wanted to make just giving you some of my thoughts hopefully you enjoyed it i have made a video on edgar casey talking more in detail about his life and if you want to see that you can watch it right here <laughs> I hesitate to go both hands off the handlebars, of course. <sighs> All right, well, I'll be back tomorrow with another video, just trying to ramp up the content as we come into the new year, 2022. Wow, time passes quickly. You know, my buddy, it seems like it was just a short while ago that we were in college, and now he'll be retiring in six months. Me, I'll be working until the end, I think. And that's just the way it's gonna be probably, but that's okay, because I'm okay with it. You know, I'm gonna use this physical avatar for all it's got, and that's why I keep it in great shape. Your body is your temple, right? All right, guys, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. I hope you enjoy your day or night whenever you're watching this, and I'll see you all in the next video. Much peace and love.